In this video, I'll show you how to find angular displacement. The formula that we'll be using to answer both of these questions is the following, where angular displacement is theta is equal to angular velocity times time. Let's go ahead and answer question one. A wheel is rotating with an angular velocity, so omega is equal to 1800 revs per minute. How many revolutions, theta, does the wheel make in time 1.5 seconds? Now you'll notice something right from the start that your angular velocities in terms of minutes and your times in terms of seconds, they have to both be consistent. So let's convert 1800 revolutions per minute into seconds. That's easy to do. We take 1800 and we multiply it by how many minutes are in a second. So if I multiply this by one minute over 60 seconds, what happens is the minutes units will cancel out and you're left with 1800 divided by 60 gives us 30. 30 revs per second. Now that the angular velocity and time is consistent, we can multiply the two where we have theta is equal to 30 revs per second times the time of 1.5 seconds. This cancels out. 30 times 1.5, we'll use our calculator, gives us 45. 45 revolutions. Let's move on to question two. In question two they ask, how long will it take a spindle rotating at 3.55 radians per second to make 1,000 revolutions. This time they're looking for time, and I can tell just from the wording how long. That being said, the first thing that I'll do is solve for t, and I can do that by dividing both sides by angular velocity, where theta over omega is equal to t. This number, 1,000 revolutions, actually represents the angular displacement. And because our angular velocity, 3.55 radians per second is in radians, we should convert 1,000 revolutions into radians. And that's really easy to do. 1,000 revs times, and remember, one revolution is equal to two pi radians. Therefore, we would need to multiply 1,000 revolutions by two pi radians over one rev. This will cancel out the revolutions, giving us 1,000 times 2 pi, and we end up with 2,000 pi. That's in radians. And now we can substitute both of these numbers into our formula, where we have 2,000 pi over, our omega is 3.55, and we should end up with an answer that is exclusively in seconds. Dividing this by 3.55 gives us 1,769.9. 1,769.9 seconds. That is equal to my time. And because we have three significant figures here and four significant figures here, we should have an answer with three significant figures. So we would have to round this to 1,770 seconds. This consists of three significant figures, and that's your final answer. So there you have it. That is how to find the angular displacement.